I'm here again to share another useful tip that you may be able to use when working with multiple yarns. Right now, I'm working on a scrap blanket um, that's with these uh, colors. And again, using those beads that I've used in previous videos, I found that they are also useful and helpful for this situation. So, these are the colors that I'm working with on a different project. And, um, again, so once I get the, get the colors I want, lay them all out, know what order I want to use them in, um, then I toss them all in a bag and then I wonder which order I originally wanted them can be really difficult. So, um, again, with those beads, I can put them uh, on, on the the balls that I want in the order that I want so that when I try to get them back out of the bag I know which one's next so again also with the the bobby pins here I found I did not want to use a safety pin because I didn't want to poke the the strands and have my yarn split and I found that this not only helps keep it from unraveling too bad it keeps, um, but also keeps the, the numbers right where I need them. So when I need them, I can find find the ones I need. I did use a safety pin for this one uh, because there was a piece of tape. And um, I just went right through the tape. So another way that you can use it, the this same technique of trying to remember what order, is when you make uh, blocks. This is another scrap blanket here. This is not my project, um, but again, it ha each block is different. So you can even use it for something like this. Like you, you, you can um, get the yarns like I did and put them in the order and put your little numbers. So that if you, if you want to be very, um, you know, want certain colors to go certain ways, it'll work for something like this. Um, and once you've completed them and you spend all the time of laying them out, turning them, let, you know, up, right, whichever to get the colors, you want to um, finally use it and put it together. Um, you can use the numbers also for this, the same. So, like, this will be the first block and then you will attach it to block number two. Well, this is actually, I have three right here. You know four right there so that way you know which which blocks go connected with which blocks because you did take time to lay them out and get it to look exactly the way you want it to but with these little numbers it gives you the freedom of being able to fold it back in the bag put it away and then when you're ready to actually attach them you know the order that you you originally wanted them in so those are the tips that I have for you today. I hope they help someone. Uh, feel free to comment up below and, and let me know your thoughts. All right. Thank